Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to this basing tutorial. In this video, I will be basing up my Knight Armor Jet, which you may have seen painted up in a previous video. Here he is. Now, the way I'm gonna do this base is how I've done all of my Admech, and by default, uh, in seventh edition, Admech, Knights, Skitari, kind of all one, I base them all the same way. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I base them uh, and to base them I use the GW Ruins kit so um, I can't even think what they're called now but yeah you can get loads of kits you can get like a shrine um, a manufactorum type one and you can buy a big one that's like 70 quid and you get loads and loads and loads of them in. So basically the plan that I've got is to kind of have these across here uh, and have the knight stepping over them. Or at least that's the plan. And then if you saw me pinch your toy you'll know that I'm missing one panel um, from his feet. So I'm going to try and hide it. So we need to make sure it fits. Yep, fits perfectly. But let's move it back slightly. And then what I'm thinking about doing is putting these under the base here. So straight in front, maybe. Uh, I've also got a couple of these bits, which I might put on. I've got a beam, which could fit on that side, but I don't know if I will. I might see if I can move it down. Uh, and put that on there as well. So I'm gonna glue that in place off camera because I'm probably gonna make a mess and knock it over. Um, but join me again in a couple of seconds. Right, so here you go guys. I have finished sticking it together. So what I've done is I've stuck the two panels down, ran the fence along the back and took st stuck two of the pillars there. I cut this one off with the clippers uh, and I decided to put it on the back there. And basically the legs fit incredibly snugly on there just like that and if you're looking from the front you can actually hide the fact that I'm missing that one piece so what we're going to do now is add a little bit of sand and I've used some PVA glue which I picked up in B&M bargains for like next to nothing uh, and we build the sand that you've seen if you was a gajillion times before uh, and I'm literally just going to lather the sand on with the PVA glue so don't be frightened to work it into the corners there as well you want a little bit of foliage and soil and stuff down in the corners don't be frightened to get loads on the gaps like that or the joins and of course right the way up the pack there doesn't matter if you get PVA on other parts of the uh, of the scenery and stuff if you get any on the edge of the rim of the base though just give it a rub off uh, but like on here just lather it on the more you get on the smoother it kind of blends in uh, and the more ruined it'll look when we get it done and if you want of course feel free to add some like up the side there or up the middle there we go so I'll get that in my water pot and then what we're going to do is like literally and if you want to probably actually dunk it in give it a bit of a tap and there you go then just uh, do the other side as well And then of course I'll hand sprinkle them bits onto there. And there we go. We'll leave that overnight to dry and then I'm going to prime it as well. Okay, so there we go. The base, uh, I sprayed it black and then did give it a light dustish coating. Uh, of grey just over the top of it but next up we are gonna start and dry brush it 
Uh, and what colour we're going to do is we're going to do Ulthwine Grey because it's a very light grey, uh, it gives enough colour but it's still quite bluey grey. I'm just going to dry brush it, pick out all the details. Basically make it look very ruin like. I'm just going to dry brush the whole thing. Okay, so now that that is all dry brushed up, I'm going to be using Rhinox Hide to paint all of the mud and the soil. Uh, and I'm just using a, a cheap brush that I normally use for scenery and literally just paint all of well, basically the bits that I've covered in sand to represent the mud. Just making sure you work the brown in nice and deep around all the sand. So we'll do the whole base with that uh, and then come back in a couple of moments. Right guys, so now that that's dry, we are going to use Mornfang Brown to dry brush all of the mud and everything that's on the base. And this just gives it a bit warmer feel to everything that's going on. So just lightly over the top of it all, and you see around the back here as well. And don't be frightened if you get brown on the... Uh, the ruins, it's absolutely fine, it all blends into the texture. So we'll finish that off and then after that we're going to highlight it with Cadian Flesh. Okay so there we go guys, I've also dry brushed up with a tiny bit uh, of bleached bone just on the top. And believe it or not we're nearly done, the next stage is going to be to add some uh, tufts of grass uh, and bits of flock and everything. but. If we place the knight down, when I can get him on his base properly, you can see it's starting to come together quite well. So I'm going to grab the static grass, some super glue uh, and some flock and PVA glue and we'll get on with the next stage. But before we do that you may notice as well I've just added a little bit of dry brush of the bleach bone uh, and the Cadian flesh tone and stuff just to take a little bit of the edge off the grey and the white. So. Let's move on. Okay, so we're going to be using some super glue and we're going to be applying this army paint of static grass. I'm literally just going to add it to all the edges. Now, Gorilla Super Glue is fantastic, it's incredibly strong, and I find super glue just works better for static grass uh, than what PVA does because it forces it to stick almost instantly. So, a couple of areas there. Dab it on. And then I'll tap that off into the tub. You can see that it's instantly sticking, so we'll add some more here. Let's do a few different areas. And there we go. And then the next stage is going to be to add some flock. And I use Woodland Scenics flock. You've seen me use this in tutorials before. And with this one, uh, I will be applying this one with PVA glue and an old brush. And what we're gonna do is just add a few more tufts here and there, just to make the base a little bit busier. So, a nice glob of PVA glue. I'm going to put some there, some there in between, and a bit on the end. Uh, 
and there. Have some grown up wall maybe. And a bit on that side there. Now I can't zoom out far enough to show you all of this, but basically just dip it in the tub, chuck it all over and tap it off. And we're almost done. Okay, so you'll notice now it's starting to look quite overgrown. Well, we've got a couple of things to add on, which is this foliage. Uh, and we're just gonna add it on with some more Gorilla Glue. Because everybody loves Gorilla Glue. So I'll stick some there. I'll stick a lump there. Uh, I'll stick a lump there. Just wherever I fancy, basically. And a piece there. So it, this is again is from Woodland Scenics, but it's basically a uh, sponge. So I think I put glue there. There we go. So the next thing is to put the knight back on his base. Okay, folks, and here we go. The knight is fully finished. And I am pretty damn happy with him. So, yeah, I have based all of my other Admech uh, with this base and style. Um, so if you want to know more, please go and check out the rest of the channel. And if you're interested in having any tutorials on display or done, drop me a message uh, on Facebook or by email and I'll see what I can do. But uh, hopefully we'll get this guy on the board very, very soon, especially with the new Night Codex coming. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.